Hello, artists. Welcome back to Art Life Conversations podcast. I'm your host, Kelly Folsom. I am a full-time professional working artist, art instructor, author, coach, mentor, business business mentor as well. And I'm happy to be here with you today. So I've kind of got a little series going on here um, this month called Struggles of an Artist. This is Struggles of an Artist Part 3. <laughs> Things I wish I knew as a beginner, beginning artist. And passing on, you know, what I've learned to all of you in hopes um, to help encourage you on your art life journey as well. So if you're an artist here who is just getting started, is a beginner um, on your journey, um, I hope that this is of value to you. And actually these two, one of these, one of these um, struggles can really last a long time way beyond your beginner stage. So um, the first one I wanted to talk about is beginner's luck. I don't know if you guys have ever experienced this. Let me know in the comments below if you have. Um, but beginner's luck. Um, one of the experiences that I had early on uh, in art school was some beginner's luck with landscape painting. <laughs> so um, we had, you know, a beginning painting, oil painting class. We had a beginning drawing class. We had a beginning sculpture class, all this stuff. Each one presented its own uh, massive frustrations, massive temper tantrums and meltdowns for me and struggles along the way. Uh, very few victories for me in those that first year at art school, I'll say. Um, so because, you know, there was such few, few victories, um, uh, this little uh, landscape painting that I did was was such a huge deal to me. So it was towards the end of the first year of art school and um, the weather was starting to warm up in Connecticut. And so the instructor said, we're gonna go, everybody's gonna go out, you're gonna find a, a landscape scene to paint in plein air. We had, I had never done this before. I had never painted outside before. I've never tried to pick a landscape scene from life and paint it from life in plein air like the famous French impressionist, right? So I ended up, uh, first of all, it took me forever to even find anything that I thought I might be able to turn into a, a painting. And there, there really wasn't a lot of instruction, I should say, as to how to select a scene. But I ended up landing on this scene with, um, it was like a bridge. There were, it was actually a highway, as a matter of fact. Not exactly the most picturesque scenery, but something about the shapes of the bridge and the foliage. And then there was some water you know little little the lieutenant river as a matter of fact in old Lyme, connecticut running underneath a bridge and so i i sat myself down i was all by myself it was so cozy and serene and beautiful there and i just painted away on this painting and it was so peaceful and harmonious and time just seemed to disappear on this painting um, everything seemed to just flow and come together on this painting and and so before you know it the the time was up for for our class time and and we always had to bring bring our paintings back into the room or if we were in the room put them up on the wall in order to have critique which was terrifying terrifying oh my gosh even after week after week of group critiques I was still terrified after you know six months of, of this <laughs> anyways but this painting, I wasn't terrified. This painting, like I knew it was good. I knew it was one of my best paintings and I was so happy about it, so excited about it. And so then of course I take it back into the room. Sure enough, rave reviews, everybody loves the painting. I am so excited. I thought, this is it. I found my thing. I'm gonna be a landscape artist. <laughs> This is what I'm gonna do from now on because it was such a big victory. And I thought, you know, this is just, you know, naturally what I was born to do. I must just be naturally good at this, this landscape thing. So I had really built up this big fantasy in my head about it all, um, which felt great at the moment. I thought I had found the one thing, like the, the secret key for me being a successful artist, which was painting landscape. 
Oh my goodness. So let me just tell you what. The next week we went out to go do another um, plein air landscape. This time as a group. And it was kind of in like a forest type of area there. And so I was like, yes, I am ready. I am ready to have another victory. I am ready to kick this painting's ass. Let's go. You know, so I had like all this like, woo, all this ex high expectations and confidence and got out there and um, wow, no, I did not kick that painting's ass. That painting kicked my ass. It was dreadful. It was an absolute mess. I mean, completely 180 outcome result from the first attempt I had made. I got so angry and frustrated that I frisbeed the painting across the forest. I had no painting to show at critique. It, I was just so upset. Part, part of, partly because I have built up like this story in my head that I thought I have found the thing, you know. So it's just a little story about beginner's luck because sometimes this is what happens as a beginner. You know, sometimes we're just looking for like this one thing that's going to all of a sudden magically turn us into this successful, talented, you know, skilled artist out of nowhere, you know. Um, so my my hopes and dreams were, were dashed on that and I realized oh no actually i'm just all of this takes time all of this takes practice and hard work and you know basically like nobody nobody gets to to go to a fully formed professional artist in a matter of you know six months time so I just wanted to share that lesson with you in case you guys have also maybe been struggling with any of this beginner's luck stuff. Okay, the next um, thing that I wish I knew as a beginner was um, the jealousy thing. Um, I don't know about you guys, but I, I, you know, I was definitely very, very jealous of some of the other students who were in my art class. Um, they had a skill set that I did not possess and it was really aggravating and it was really frustrating and I remember there was this one girl in particular who was like she could copy whatever she was seeing so perfectly you know I mean down to you know if, if somebody oh I don't know if somebody had a a, a mole I don't know like just every little hair every little strand of hair you know on the model she could just perfectly you know replicate reality and it, watching her um, was kind of like watching like a little photocopier machine with her pencil just t -t 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 down the page and then voila this you know magical perfect um, replication of that human being was on the page I was so jealous of this girl and her skill set, and it really made me feel like I was not a good enough artist. I, I struggled with that anyway, and so in a way, I kind of looked for anything that, that triggered that I'm not good enough as an artist. I'm not going to be able to do this. I'm not going to make it, you know? And so for a long time, I really, really struggled um, with jealousy. Uh, comparing myself to this person, comparing my results to their results. And, you know, I have to say there is no way that that is a winning situation for you if you're in that in that same, you know, emotion of jealousy. Now, eventually over the years, as I grew and I became wiser, you know, just with time and with practice and with effort. And I f finally, I had to come to the place um, with this particular person that I was constantly comparing myself to. I had to come to the place and realize, you know, um, I'm either going to choose to accept my abilities and my skill set and be the artist that I can be. I don't know how good I can be, you know, but I've got to accept myself in whatever limitations, whatever gifts as well are particular to me. Now at the time, all I could see was the limitations, right? Um, and I saw this other person as like having no limitations and having like having it all, you know, kind of thing. And um, so this was, as you can imagine, and maybe you're experiencing it, incredibly discouraging for me as a starting, starting out artist. 
And so it wasn't until I was able to really fully accept that, that I was able to diffuse that jealousy, that feeling of jealousy towards this person. And also that only at that point could I really go all in on my own development and really accepting and embracing who I really was as an artist and stop comparing myself to other artists in the room. And at that point, I was able to become a better support system for those other artists in the room. I was able to celebrate their gifts with them, with them and not compare my gifts with their gifts, right? Um, because when you're in jealousy, you really can't contribute to anybody. You're just thinking about yourself, right? You're thinking about what you lack. You're in really scarcity mentality at that point. So I just wanted to share those two stories with you because they're definitely pitfalls that, you know, I fell into as a beginning artist and it really robbed me a lot of, of a lot of my joy in the art making process. And also I, I feel like probably stalled some of my development falling into those traps, you know, of the beginner's luck, you know, fantasy <laughs> trap. And um, also the comparing myself to others trap. So I hope that this has been helpful to all of you. Um, let me know in the comments below what you thought about this topic today, if you've experienced this or maybe how you've worked through this yourself to help support other artists who might be reading your comments as well. Um, all right, everybody. And finally, I want to invite you, of course, to the five day painting challenge, which will begin on June 27th. We are going to have such a great time and so many breakthroughs that week. So be sure to go over to artlifewithkelly.com, Kelly with an I, and check out the details there. And if you want to sign up for Art Life School, you can find out the information there as well for Art Life School. Okay, everybody, until next week, I'm wishing you all happy painting. Bye.